sorry for taking a long time to answer. Things have been really hectic. Um, this this video is not going to be exhaustive. My um, exhaustive list of my experiences here, but I thought it would be a good start for anyone who had any questions, and then um, you can make some comments or just text me um, if there's anything else you want to see. So it's not the night time now, it's the morning, because I was too tired <laughs> at night. Um, but yeah, things are good here. Um, food is interesting. It's basically cheaper to eat out than to eat groceries. It's maybe like six or seven Canadian dollars for like a full meal out. And then for groceries, like everything's really expensive. Apples, I saw three apples for 12 Canadian dollars, which is really expensive. Um, my work is interesting, it's very good. This smart city I live in is very weird. Um, but things are good, so check out some of these videos just so you can get a bit of an explanation of what is actually happening. So, as you can see, there are an incredible amount of instant noodles in the grocery stores, which are very overwhelming. These are all the instant noodles. Um, it's very ridiculous. There's also a ton of Spam. There's, that's all Spam. They love Spam here. And there's also a ton of fried chicken. This is just literally buckets of fried chicken. It's about $10. This is a dumpling place beneath my building, which is really good. It's all communal food, which is very interesting because it's not COVID friendly. <laughs> um, this was the first thing. Taking the video to send to my friends to prove that I like it like that. This is my building. This is called the G Tower. And as you can see in this next photo, this is what the view is. So this whole smart city is brand new, and this is called Central Park. Um, that's the view from my office. This is me wearing a mask at work because I have to, because everyone has to. And the next picture is funny because I actually went to Costco in Korea and they had very similar things. They had bulgogi pizza, which was interesting. Not the same. I built my boss's barbecue, which was pretty funny because that barbecue was huge. This is the view from a mountain where I have done some running and hiking nearby, which is really nice. Uh, the city is in the mountains, sort of, so there's all these really nice trails. And there's all these very, very, very fit elderly Koreans doing, doing pull-ups, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this is an outdoor gym. It's free, which is great. This is a machine that blows dirt off your shoes, which is crazy. They really do. This is a, a building, maybe not the best name. This is what it's like outside. So there's just tons of people, tons of restaurants and the lights. So it's very interesting, very lively, very overwhelming. That's a better, more artsy photo of this. But as you can see, restaurants, like there's restaurants in every single floor of these buildings. This is fried chicken, which is great. And this is the last of the photos because I actually haven't even had a lot of space on my phone. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing some of the little things. I'll try to be more mindful of the things I film. Uh, just haven't really thought of it lately. <laughs> um, so stay tuned and just please let me know if there's anything else that you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, as always, stay tired. <laughs>